Good evening, everyone. I'm here with my very happy wife, Laura, and I'm Nathan. Thrilled. I'm yes. thrilled. Laura loves this game. What game is it again, Laura? We're going to play Mr. Bucket. Aren't we lucky? Now, I believe it has something about him popping balls out to catch or something like that. Yep. So this is a bucket. And it pops balls out. You have to put bucket, balls, balls in, in the, bucket. the bucket. Balls. That's pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, so it, it, I think it's, it's infamous because of the original commercial back in the 90s. Um, just go watch it. You can probably see the connotations and things suggested. It's a kid's game. It's basic. And if it wasn't for the ad, I doubt anyone would be talking about it now. But here we are, playing Mr. Bucket 2020. Yay! Shall we open it up, Nathan? All right, let's open up Mr. Bucket. This is this is not my idea of a good game. Just personally. I mean, you know, again, kids' game, so I'm not the target audience. <laughs> All right, so we There's have... There's Mr. Bucket. So, that's him. You can see his mouth is open, and that's where he's going to pop the... Uh, balls! Balls out of, yeah. Um, when you first... Uh, Unpacking for you, you gotta stick his eyes on his eyebrows and things like that. We each get uh, one of these shovels, depends on which colour we're playing as. Uh, it's four players, isn't it? Four players, up to four players. And we're actually missing um, one ball of each colour, and I believe all of red balls. So if you wanna be red, bad luck. Yeah, so we won't be needing the. Oh, that's stuck to the ball. Could you <laughs> remove that? We won't be needing the red one today. Alright, let's stick his hands on. Yeah, so the hands. Detachable. Just to add that, that that creepiness factor. So they just slide on though, don't they? Yeah, but yeah. I don't think I've got the right... Right, don't have the right hands on. Oh no. Don't know your right from your left, eh? Well, it's a bucket. I didn't think they had designated hands. Now, if you haven't seen this before, it actually moves, uh, makes noise, and it, obviously spits the balls out as it well. It makes a dinging sound every time it spits a ball out. So I'm going to play as uh, green. So that's my I'll be shovel. blue. Uh, and then we'll have, what, one yellow each to make up, because you're meant to have three. Yes. Uh, so these are just really light. Like? Plastic. They're not uh, solid. Yeah, they're see-through. Um, yeah, there's not much to them. Uh, you can't use it with any other balls, because obviously these are a specific size and weight and Yeah, like so kind of if stuff. you're trying, it also says don't add, put sand or water in Mr. Bucket. No. He doesn't <laughs> like that. He's not a bucket for the beach. Uh, so he's got a handle here, which ours is unfortunately but broken. It's, it's actually the on-off switch, because when it's connected, you actually pull this up and down to turn him on and off, as I'm about to demonstrate right now. Look at him go! That's what he does. Hopefully that's not too loud for you. Uh, so, yeah, what colour are you? Blue? Yeah, I'll be blue. Yep. Yellow. Whoa! And his hand fell off. I don't know whether we got that. Hang on, let me just check the camera and Nathan can do that again. Alright. Let me just stick his hand back on. Uh, we'll do our best to keep this in focus, but obviously he does move kind of randomly, so who knows? You ready to pop out? Yep. Boop. So it doesn't, um, doesn't like hurl it out really quickly so there's no like danger or anything now, here's like the that. weird thing so you gotta get all three balls in the bucket before he spits one of your color balls out yeah it says for ages four plus but we've got a four-year-old and i think even he would think this would be pretty easy or basic yeah although that said our three-year-old uh is terrified of it so uh, as, as am <laughs> i after this i will have nightmares about mr buck i'm sure um the only problem here is because we don't have all the right colors we're not going to know whose yellow ball it spits out if a yellow one comes out it'll be yours oh thanks just thanks <laughs> all right uh so they start just next to mr bucket and you can't touch or help or like <clears throat> you know flick it on with your hand it's got to be all done with the shovel yes so you gotta like whoop, whoop. Yes. <laughs> with those sound exactly. effects. Sorry about Nathan's legs. Right, My legs are very handsome and go very nicely with Mr. Bucket, thank you. We're just going to move you back a little bit just so you can see um, any balls that he kind of spits out that come this way as well. And we will try not to get in the way <laughs> while we're scooping. Is that I, about right? I would never get in the way of Mr. Bucket. Of course not. All right, shall we? All right, ready? Y yes. Oh, Nathan, that's cheating. Oh. Nice and quick. I, now, I did use my hands then just to move it back. Oh no, my green ball, I can't reach it, it's all the way over there. Mr. Bucket, come back. I won! <laughs> no, you've got a green one out there. Oh, oh, no. I had one, they were all in there, Nathan. <laughs> Get in there. Oh. So I'm pretty sure I had all of mine in there twice, so he kind of has a mind of his own though and obviously ended up 
off camera yeah over so here. on the bottom i do have the battery cover i haven't put it on um he's got these wheels and they they um they work they work in a way that he rotates around and does random things so yeah he doesn't just go in one straight line no. in one direction so you actually um, need a fairly big space to play properly yeah, so we don't have a very big area here um, because we've got our, our camera and lights and everything set up, which is why he kind of went off camera. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you, you would kind of do this in like a, you know, a lounge room or a games room or something where you have maybe a, a bigger open space. Now, so. I did see one floor. as Just, it, just, a, the, just one? the one? Um, it's not like, so in other games, if you get, if you achieve a goal, that's it, it's done. With this one, you might get all three balls in, but he could say, I've won, but if no one's sorry and spits one out, then there's going to be a lot of arguments about whether or not you actually did get all your balls in before you spat them out, or if... Well, just like happened here, I was like, oh, I've won, mine are all in, and then he spat one out as I was kind of saying that, I think. So it was like, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, definitely a kid's one. This is not for me, personally. I know there's probably people who remember this fondly from their childhood. Well, it was re-released recently. You could buy it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, obviously someone remembers it and loves it, but it's not one I grew up with. So, may maybe if I had, I would have a different opinion. Apparently, so. his nose came um, unattached when he first bought the thing, too. Mm. Whoa! Oh. Oh. No. I haven't lost his nose. Mr. Bucket? Nose. There it is. Alright, if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know down below if you remember Mr. Bucket uh, from your childhood. Or the advertisement that went with mm. Mr. Bucket. Hit that subscribe button and check back next week. We have reviews every Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.